Bye bye D. Goodbye D. See you, D. Yeah, we did. That was our strongest one by far, wasn't it? Yeah, he's level sixty. Huh. Probably should really speak at you. Yeah, that would have that would have been funnier and uh, more efficient. Anyways. Uh, Pokemon, you guys wanted more? Actually, nobody in the comments requested more at all, funny enough. Yet yeah, here we are. The thing is, we're already, uh, this is probably like, what, episode four or five now? Four. Four. And, uh, I think episode one went up yesterday, so. Yeah. I mean, who knows? In Maybe episode time. two or three, someone will request more. Here's the thing. I think the slogan for our channel is daily uploads occasionally, sure. But I have a new one. What about everything you never wanted? That's, I like that. That's good. I mean, I don't know. Some people would want Pokemon. But do they want us gambling? Yes, actually. Yeah. No, I think that that's exactly what they want. I think we made it hype. We, we did find a way to make a Pokemon Let's... I want to call it a Let's Play. I hate calling this a Let's it's Play. It's a Let's Play. Who the uh, fuck I mean, cares? it is, but... Joe, Let's Play. Let's Play. Um, You know what? Shout out to my Let's Play channel to Joe. Um, I miss Joe. Real homies remember the Jomies. Jomies. So... Let's just say uh, this little little baby, Larvitar, the Eltar. Let's uh, let's put him in a game. I feel like we always got to start the episodes off with something exciting. Yeah. So let's get the adrenaline pumping right off the bat. And whoever we get, let's throw them in the start. I I like that plan. Yeah. All right, we be spinning. All right, plusy, we're plusy. throwing it into the void. Oh God. <clears throat> and what do we get? I would like one Pokemon, please, sir. How hard can this be? Just give me a give me a fucking Pikachu again. I don't know. Just, just, come on. Come on. I oh, don't know. Can we do Winter Tree within the gym? Or is no, it? No, I don't think you can. So, do you have any funny stories? Any funny stories? Yeah, what's ha ha happened lately? Ha ha happened. I have been doing We went ha -ha to a bar nothing. last night. Oh my god, we did. Yeah, we went to a Smash Weekly. I think we talked about that in like one of the episodes before this. We said we were gonna go. Um, feels good. Joe and I actually get to hang out again. Yeah, it was it felt good to go to a weekly and like yeah, not play the game. Yeah, we except didn't for enter. we both got pissed drunk though, and mm -hmm. then the bar uh, owner wants us to stream yeah. or to commentate top eight of all the future weeklies, and, and we were just wanting to do that for fun, anyways. And he says he's gonna pay our tab every single night for food and drinks, and hell yeah. Oh wait, he's including food in that too. The, who knows. <laughs> Probably. Yes. Who cares? But anyways, cool guy. Yeah, no, he was super nice. So follow me on Twitter. Follow Joe on Instagram. We'll let you know whenever we're doing that again. And it'll be fun. Yeah. But well. also, what was really funny was there was a hero main there who was like, you want to play Hero Dittos? Uh, his name's Spectra. Shout out to Spectra. Spectra. Nice guy. I met him last Nice night. guy. And the thing was, I said, I don't have my controller. I'm shit face drunk. Uh, sure, I'll I'll Hero Day you with the Joy-Cons. I beat him in best of five. And I, I prefaced it when I sat down for the set. I said, you're about to beat me, and who cares? I'm drunk, or I'm going to be shit-faced and beat you with Joy-Cons, and you're awful. Yeah, either way, you win that. No, definite option select for me. Yeah. Like, I, I definitely won that. Uh, I'm gonna... I, I feel like we just need to restart the trade. Yeah, something something's going wrong. I definitely did enough spins where it should have worked. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's back yeah. it up. So it could just be trade. Because we're, we're recording in the office today. Yesterday we were at your house, so. What? Oh yes, at, we're at our office. Like yeah. You said, like the office, like. Oh, like the TV show. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Dude, yes. Michael Scott, am I right? Yo, he's like the Deku of the office. <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't you say that once? I hope I didn't. I am. You definitely did. I, I mean, like, I. If you just took the sound by the soundboard of me as the a Joe person, soundboard. It would make sense. Mm -hmm. Like, you could definitely just insert that to a sentence, and I could probably said that at some point. Well. But, um, I still... Did we talk about the Office musical that, we, that we're that we going to go yes. see? Yes. So I just got back from Broadway, and I Joe, I turned Joe on to the idea of Broadway. And so him and I are probably going to do like a... I hate how you worded that entire sentence. Why? Hey, that's an expression. I turned you on to the idea. It's not sexual. <laughs> There's absolutely a sexual connotation behind it. Okay, well, get your mind out of the gutter. I can't. I so, metaphorically, I fucked him in the ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing. Joe, get your head out of the gutter. Jesus. <laughs> so, you can say that, but as long as you say metaphorically. Yes, because I don't mean literally. So, okay. hypothetically speaking, if I murdered all your friends and family, 
just to like kind of paint an analogy for you. Okay. Um, I must so think. Anyways, I showed Joe Broadway the concept, and he's never said, heard of it. Before. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I just show them some of my favorite musical numbers, and then we decide, yeah, let's just go for a weekend in February or something. We can see all the cool ones. Yeah, because I got to, uh, I worked a bunch of musicals back in like high school. Or not worked, I uh, played in a bunch of musicals like in the pit. Yeah. Like uh, just did percussion stuff. So I got to see a couple like small musicals that are uh, good, mm -hmm. and they are also very child friendly. I'm going to cut you off all right censored. there. I was playing drums earlier today. Hype. And I, yeah, love drums. Yeah. I always just play drums. I, I turn music on the headphones, play along to it. Drums is the easiest instrument in the world to do that to. Yeah. So awesome how easy you can just pick it up. And like, it's hard to do, but like, visually, you can figure it out. Anyways, um, I usually like to do it to pop songs because then I'm not, I get to kind of create my own drums. Yeah. Because it's all like, you know, digital percussion. So it's really fun to do it to like, top 40 music because I get to make something up along as I go. And today I just tried doing it to the Broadway numbers I showed you. Yeah. And I guess I didn't realize Broadway oh, no, drums fast. are fucking wild. Yeah, no, they're fast as hell. We yeah. uh, had to hire a drummer every single year. Like, like all of us so were crazy. really good at actual trap set, yeah. but we always had to get someone from like a local college to come and like play. Dude, it was insane. Because there I was listening to um, Meet the Plastics from Mean Girls, which also... I thought Mean Girls would be like, okay, this musical is just stroking the existing brand of Mean Girls. No, the musical's phenomenal. Instant classic for me. Definitely, like, top three musical I've ever seen. And anyways, um, I, I just love theater so much. But, theater sucks. Uh, there's this very Latin part in, in Meet the Plastics. It's uh, Gretchen Wieners. It's like, uh, I, I can't even sing. Because well, what would that mean for the percussion? That doesn't do anything. Anyways, yeah. six song. If you wanted to watch a really good, funny musical number, just go on YouTube, which you are, idiot, and type in Sexy Mean Girls Broadway. Include the Broadway part. Yes, yes. That, that That's crucial. Yeah. But it's just a musical number from Karen, and it's phenomenal. It's just a dumb bitch, but that's her character, so it's good. You get to see Sexy Corn. If Sexy Corn does not make you want to watch that video, just out of curiosity's sake, I don't you know find will. the cure for sex cancer, go for it. Yeah, she does cure it. I did but, it. Dude, so there's that one guy in my Discord that would always watch my streams, and I'd always rate him after I would stream because he didn't ever play games. I did yeah. not see him play a single game the entire time. On but Twitch. But he would, yeah, on Twitch. But what he would do is he would analyze uh, musicals. That's sick. No, it was so much fun. It was always like eight or nine viewers, but like I would sit there for like four or five hours. I don't watch Clint. I don't watch CFG. I don't watch anyone for that Shout long. Shout out to Clint Stevens. Shout out to Clint Stevens. Shout out to Prezzo. Do you want to... Um, Dude, Prezzo. Yeah, tangent again. So we... Uh, Shout out to Prezzo. In the first episode, we threatened to fire Tyler and uh, to hire Prezzo instead. And Tyler, you're probably editing this one. So that was just a joke, by the way. We weren't really going to do that. We uh, Prezzo said no. no. Um, and then he was like, huh, good thing you guys are joking, right? And I said, yeah. Oh. But, <laughs> but anyways... Um, Prezzo was just, he was, he was just very happy. He was like, aw, thanks, Kings. Yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot what I was supposed to do. Hold up. Let me be stupid for a second. I, I, I don't know. Wait, yeah, just hit that one. Hit that one. No, no, I hit this. No, Trust me, Joe, I know what I'm doing. <sighs> oh, it's the one that's off screen. Just fight her. Get it over no. with. No. I'm impatient. I don't I'm have not sure to, though. I'm not sure they do a 30-second battle, and then wait two seconds Dude, right you there. think battles take 30 seconds? What fucking earth are you on? I don't know. The type of earth that I don't want to just stand there for a second waiting. Look, look I, at I just brute force it. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're done. We're done now. Are we done? Oh, uh, wait. I forgot. We, we got to hit the blue one. Yeah, which is right here. Yeah, which... now nah, we did it. That's, that's the end of the puzzle. Sorry, guys. I... I okay. had to turn my four-year-old brain on for a second. Cool. Oh. oh, man. You know what sucks? Allergies. Yeah, then stop it. I, I really wish I could. I'm thinking about, like, spoken like someone who's already lost the battle. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm thinking about going and getting allergy shots. Yesterday, I was dying at your house because cats. Yeah, do you have cats? Yeah. You, you have plenty of cats. and They're good, All though. adorable. Yeah. I absolutely love your cats. But 
But that's an issue because, well, you pet them, and if you're allergic, you kind of die a little bit. You do die. Why is our number one? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> one fifty-six. That's our number. Yeah. yeah. Classic Classic number. Classic us. If you don't remember what the joke behind that is, better go back. Laugh anyways. Yeah. Just know that it's funny. So, I'm going to be real. What's up? Nessa. Yeah, I agree. Nice. Like, she's so good. Can I introduce a new concept to you that you've never heard of before? Okay. Um, My friend told me. You know about No Nut November? Yeah. He introduced something completely new and revolutionary to me. Just nut in No, no, no. Okay. Pokey nut November. Oh, no. You roll a random number generator, and you have to jerk off to that Pokemon. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. But you get one reroll, which nope. is risky. Nope. Not worth it. Uh, <laughs> I, I like it conceptually. I don't think I'll ever, like, go in on it, but I think that's hilarious. Because uh, the guy did it with his group of friends. Oh and there's my a God. whole Google spreadsheet of who they rolled, if they re-rolled, and if they've completed the deed or not. <laughs> it was color-coded and everything. <laughs> like, for a spreadsheet dedicated to jerking off over Pokemon, fucking hilarious. If anyone out there decides to do that with your group of friends, that's hilarious. You don't have to, like... It, it's honestly not super weird. <laughs> no, it is. It is. It is. I think... But you okay, don't, doing like, it on your own is weird. Yes. But making it a yes. brain group thing is weird. It's, it's I've weird it's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, why? But now it's like you get to see someone else's list and you're like, oh, they had low punny. And you're like, oh, you got it easy. And then someone else gets like Mr. Well, then, Mime. <laughs> like, what if your friend re-rolls to Mr. Mime? That's hilarious. Who would be the worst one? I think Mr. Mime's up there. Seal's bad. I mean, there are like just some that are like too animalistic or just too magic harp. Yeah, because that's just like a fish. Yeah, no, it's Goldeen. Like the boring ones would be bad. I, I mean, I'm not sure they take a boring one than like the middle ground. Yeah, I think middle ground's really bad. Joe and I were discussing this earlier. I have I said this a few years ago on FWAB, and it remains true. I have still yet to masturbate to hentai. I just don't think I have it in me, and I don't think I'll ever be in the mood to do it. Therefore, I just don't think it'll happen. But you think that this Pokemon November is... Do you get this? Dude, I get off to irony. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be honest. <laughs> Maybe there's ironic hentai somewhere. Yeah. It's probably not good. Yeah, but if I'm, like... If I'm about to jerk off, dick in hand, <laughs> Zapdos on screen, and I'm sitting to myself, God, this is fucking hilarious. I could probably do it. <sighs> okay. That's all. That, that's fine. Whatever makes you happy, Jacob. Whatever makes you happy at the end of the day. Nothing will. <laughs> but God, wouldn't it be funny? Okay, whatever disappoints Fio the least, Jacob. At the end of the day. Dude, she would not support Pokey Nut November. I, I, she honest. absolutely would not. If she interrogated me over Sasuke doesn't say slurs, <laughs> she's going to interrogate me on jerking it to low punny. Just, you know what would be awful if I didn't tell her about it and she just walked in on it? I think, though, I think that's better. <laughs> I, I genuinely think it's better. Because if, if, if her yeah. walking in on you going to town at a Pichu picture, yeah. sure. Or this turtle in the background picture, sure. Yeah. But the second she knows you roll the dice first, well, that sounds a little involuntary. It's yeah, just... no, it makes it it makes it sound like you're. Yeah, I'm willing to accept these odds. Yeah. At least me. that way, it makes it look like you made the choice, and she can only respect the choice. So hypothetically speaking, oh no, if we both had to jerk off to one poke, let's just see how bad it can be. Okay. We aren't going to do it. But how, how many Pokemon are there? There are currently... Uh, I'll, I'll look it up. <laughs> you yeah, just hit the A I, button. Dude, it's just, I just mash A. It's fine. How many um, Pokemon are there? Now, 807? Wait, 807? No, that's 7th gen. Yeah. 890. 890. Okay. Random number generator. So, Joe, your number is 862. Remember that. Mine is 451. I don't think I can look that one up because spoilers. Um, okay, I got Scorpy. I got Obstagoon. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Nope. Definitely porn of him. Yep. No, there absolutely is porn of Yo, him. Yo, I'm going to re roll and I just got 420. Get, nice. Get, did you really? Yeah, I did. Wow. Oh, and I got Cherubi. Yeah, give me a re roll. Yeah, you want to re roll? Yes. Okay. Um, 103, you got a first gen. All right, I'm okay with first gen. And you got executor. executor. Hey, that's better. <laughs> hey, that's a pineapple, man. This story's about those things. Okay, so after a mere simple roll, I already don't want to do this. I, I am not going to do this at all. So I'm good. Oh, hey, we won the gym leader through all that. <laughs> I imagine losing to two guys as they just talk about <laughs> masturbating to Pokemon. So all of that kind of stemmed from me thinking like, Nessa, yeah, I probably could if I tried. <laughs> I still think back a lot to, uh, I think it was G Genesis 5. It was one day that like me, you, and Majors in our Airbnb. Yeah. And we were playing Smash 4, just free-for-alls or whatever. And you won a game of Zero Suit. And we were all just sitting there silent and go, Zero Suit wins. And it just shows uh -oh. like the picture and you just go, yeah, I fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? I was Being major just lost it. <laughs> this is just dead silence. It's just like after some random free for all game. Just there was a video like early Smash, not early Smash Four. Um, it was Drunk Smash Four. I don't remember what it was actually titled, but it was me and Travis playing Smash Four. Yeah, intoxicated. And similar thing happened, but Paul Tano was on screen. Oh my! And then he goes, Paul Tano wins. And I sit there and I go, I'd do things sexually with Paul Tana with consent. <laughs> Which, like, wow, what a good drunk statement to say. Yeah, with consent, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good asterisk to have at the end of it. Uh, I, I think at the end of the day, consent is very important. Yeah. And at the beginning of the day, all times of the day. You know what? Let's just... Yeah. Are you pro-consent? I'm pro-consent. Okay, I'm pro-consent too. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. You know what I'm... Not though. I am anti non consent. Anti non consent. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. Big, big pro consenter yeah. here. I still don't know what this conversation was about on the in the game. Um, I think uh, I'm, I'm sure he's just telling us, "Hey, Pokemon are powerful. Uh, bad guys are out there. Be he careful." He says something here that's like, "I use my power spot detector to detect power spots," and you go, "Oh." I, I don't know what any of those are, and I don't really care. Yeah. Like, I get that I'm by, by doing by playing the game I, the way I play the game. Like I this? Rec yeah, I recognize that I'm missing out on certain aspects of the game that people enjoy and like. I just don't care. Yeah, for me, it's like I just want to go out in the wild and catch a Pokemon. Simple as that. If I'll, there's some convoluted yeah. way to catch cool Pokemon, sick. I'll have a friend show me it. But if you don't want to sit down and read text in the middle of a cutscene in the middle of the game and break my flow of gameplay, no, that's something I'll do in post game. I definitely think the wildest part about this game is that we don't really even care for the gameplay. We're just kind of here to press buttons and talk over it. I mean, like the way you worded that made it sound like. I mean, we still like Pokemon, or at least I do. Oh no, I still like Pokemon. Yeah, I don't okay. know. It's just I like. What I'm trying to say is you and I are easily amused. If there are flashing yeah. colors in front of us, we're having a good time. And there are like 20 colors on the screen right now. Yes. Very pretty area. And yeah, follow up from that. I don't know. We just like liking things. I'll be honest. It's that simple. We like liking things or like disliking things? We like liking things. Yeah. Okay. It's community quote. Community. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Did you spill water on you? Spilled water all over my pants, you dude. Stupid boy. Oh wait, no, I spilled onto the blank and never mind. Still a stupid boy. Oh. God! He did not do anything wrong. Mm. He gave his Gengar. Would you jerk off to Gengar? I thought you were gonna say to jerk off to God. So, okay, second question. What does he look like? I don't know. So, I mean, like, here's the thing. So is it just like, would you be masturbating to the concept? Yeah, like, you, you have to imagine, like, and so it's, what do you visualize God as? If you visualize God as, like, the old man and, like, the creation of Adam picture that mm -hmm. Michael of David Yo, Ariana painted. Grande? Yeah, Ariana Grande painted. No, I'm yeah. saying Ariana Grande. Yeah. She could be God. I think Selena Gomez. No. You don't think Selena Gomez could be God? No, I love Selena Gomez. I love Selena not. Gomez. I don't think she has that aura. Oh, uh, do you hear what happens here at the AMAs? No, what happened? 
Uh, she had a, she had a pretty big anxiety attack before going on stage. Aww. Doctors advised her not to go on stage. She did it anyways. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, had a pretty subpar performance, but she was still proud of herself for doing it. And then she dipped. I, uh, but God, she does. I feel for the girl. I, I'm a, I'm a big Selena stan. I just want. Yeah, I know we we talked about this like yeah once per recording session. Selena Gomez is honestly fucking talented as shit. Yeah, good person. I've been uh, researching a lot of pop music lately and really studying mm -hmm. what what pop music is at its core. Yeah, and I'm uh, I don't know. I really, really, really like Ariana Grande. I think she's my favorite pop star easily, easily, like in terms of music. Yeah. And God damn, she's attractive. But anyways, music's phenomenal, and it's just so interesting because I was listening to the Thank You Next album, and if you just listen to the song, all the chords, like I don't know, she just incorporates a lot of jazz chords in her simple seemingly four chord song and then she has a most of her songs it's she has a very interesting melody to it it's pretty simple she yeah i will simple, say she, she does have good beats i don't listen to her very often yeah or i don't she has like super simple pentatonic melodies and then she'll have a very convoluted uh percussion section like she she typically has like break beats and songs like uh no tears left to cry not from thank you next but anyways but like I don't know, it's just interesting because is they it always the name so of the album where we just transitioning? Uh, Sweetener was the album. Okay, that, that song was from. But so I don't know. I think she's just really interesting. Her music's really, really uh, it's different. I think. Yeah. A lot of people want to shit on things that are popular, but well, yeah, whatever. Contrains. Yeah. It, it's fun to say I don't like this thing because chances are people like that thing. That makes me unique. Yeah, and now people will be like, oh hey. Well, I disagree with you. Now people have to pay attention to you. You get a reaction out of people, even if you don't believe it. Uh, should I get nice shit? Not worth it, right? It only uh, deals it 30 damage. Yeah. I always just... It doesn't do anything. I think everything else will just oh. do more. I'll get yeah. rid of Lick. If we ever feel like we need 30 damage on screen. Nice. Get fucked, Francis. We got... Yo, why can't I trade this Larvitar? Where you can't? Where well, I mean, we're still searching. Are we connected? I mean, no, because we just recorded the DK Amiibo. Oh, wait, n now we are. Huh. Yeah, because it has that little exclamation mark. I mean, the lobby was disconnecting a bunch, so maybe something like Man, that. Man, I don't know. I'm just going to try and connect. Um, Tyler, I don't want to like show all, I don't know if I show the IP address. Anyways, this isn't vi visually interesting. Just for all of this, have like a funny picture of a cat or something or funny video. Yeah. Just no, no, here, Tyler, I want you to do a ra random number generator Pokemon, whichever one you get. No, no. Yeah. He doesn't have to. No, we're don't. not going to make Tyler. Don't, don't do that. Oh, but it's okay. Whenever we do it. Yes. 